Okay. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. How are you? You know what? Today is going to be a wonderful day. <laughs> That's for facts. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, boy. What is this? Uh, it's it's Hood News Media meets BX Lou meets uh, Bodega Sports. Oh, my God. Meets Under the Covers. <laughs> under the covers. Ain't no under the covers. Me- meets uh, get a rash. Get a rash. <laughs> like that split. <laughs> because, right. because he got high. Because he got high. <laughs> Whatever. Y'all ready? Look at this. <laughs> Look at this crackhead shit. Look at this fucking crackhead shit. <laughs> what the fuck? It's from Vegas. This is they selling Vegas. I got that in Vegas. <laughs> We're it back, we're back, we're back. All right, come on. Yo, there's some shit Yo, so going I was, back like, there. Man, it was okay. crazy Friday. We're on, we're on location. Yeah, Friday I was um, doing <laughs> what my... What the fuck is um, going on over there? That's the pool, man. That's the... Uh, the pool is... Uh, it's cleaning. activated. It's okay. activated. My bad, y'all. I'm it's about the... to be activated. <laughs> yeah. So Friday, I'm going to ask y'all what y'all did for the week. My week was straight. It was all right. Listen. And Friday I did a podcast with... Um, GRG podcast. All right, shout out to them. Yeah, big time. K Mega put me on. Shout know, out all the New York cats on there. God bless. You know what I'm saying? We did a little video game podcast. That shit was lit. That shit was lit. Thank you for having my boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was fun. Nice little promotion, right yeah. there. So that was. Damn, pretty that dope. smells so good. Damn. We get we getting we're getting intoxicated Damn, by the man. secondhand so smoke. Good. Listen, I don't know what they're talking about. Damn, man. man. It's, so all, it's all. It's all. It's all in the. It's all in the nostrils right now. It's so so fucking good. Because uh, uh, you know, I made a, I made a promise to the Lord. Oh, we got here. Let's listen to this I nonsense, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. We got, we got, we got to let, let you listen to this hell of a nonsense. And uh, go ahead, explain oh. this promise to the Lord. Oh, my promise to the Lord was that you know if He came through for me. I was going through something very serious, and I said, Lord, if you help me get through this situation, then I promise to stop smoking, and that was seven years ago. <sighs> now, this, this is Ice telling you, huh? Yeah, this is, yeah, this is Ice I, I, I'm just, good, everybody? I'm just looking at y'all. I'm, I'm just basically... I'm afraid. She's afraid, but God put this on earth for us. I know, but I feel like... This, this is what I, I got to really say to this. Needy. This is what I got to say to this. <laughs> if y'all don't know what this is <laughs> And we don't own this shit Trust we don't own nothing about this <laughs> I was gonna clean my room Until I got high <laughs> I, was gonna I made a promise to God And then I got high No, no <laughs> That is what you have to say. This no. dude is going to get struck by lightning. No, any minute I'm now. so afraid in my heart that he going to get me. Like, as soon as I take so the you, pull so of you the made, So you made a bond that made, says you're no, not going to smoke. Made, yeah, for real, for real. Like, for but real. that's exactly I'm, what I've been I'm saying, really right? She said she made a promise to the Lord that she will never smoke it again. Yeah. Eating and see, smoking it, are two be, different things. Th- see, I'm not trying to play well, those well, games. What was your promise? Your promise was that you weren't going to smoke or you're not gonna get high. No, I wasn't gonna smoke anymore. So he technically he's right. No, I'm. Do, I'm I not, mean, listen, it, it, I'm not going not, tit for tat. It's, it's, it's not. It's not even technically. He's he's freaking right. One hundred percent right. I'm scared. Yo, I think they call the cops on the party on the party goers right now. Uh, I know, man. Yo, in case you haven't noticed, we are outside on lo- on location. Yo, you think they really called the cops? Oh yeah. No, you know what that's for. That's for all the rednecks. And pardon me, y'all. I love y'all. But y'all racing back here in the raceway? Oh, oh the race was NASCAR. The, oh, yeah. It, it was, was lit, lit till 6 in the morning. Yeah, it was, it was mad traffic today. Yeah, it was traffic at 6 in the morning this morning. All right, so back to this back to this. So, yeah, promise. nah, man. Yeah, so I'm, she I'm, not going to no, eat? No, I can't. She not going to chew? I just don't want to play those games. Gummy bears one, one no. day. But, but, shit. But, no. but guess what? He's smoking in your face. So you <sighs> get high. Wait. No, I'm not getting high. Let's make that this perfectly clear. I'm smoking for medical reasons, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with smoking. I'm just saying. People smoke cigarettes all day. I just you like just smoking a, promise, a different kind of you know? plant. Like, I don't know, man. I got fear in my heart, man. 
It's good for her to have that fear. I do. I have that means I ain't got to share my shit. I have a real fear in my heart that if I play myself, he'll be like, oh, yeah, I got you. Talking about smoking. Oh. But whatever, we moving on. Did you see what happened to uh, Dion Waiters? Yep. My man has some edibles. Who gave He has some that? cookies. Oh, my man had some cookies and he went on the plane. Listen, let me tell you. He went on was, the plane. Let me tell you something about. Right let me tell you something about these cookies. You got cookies. See? You ain't going nowhere. You ain't supposed to go on Spider. no plane. Oh, where is it? Oh, is it it's right a there? Oh. It's a yeah, we are noticing uh, spiders. People. <laughs> You're not supposed to go on no plane when you got no edibles. Nope. You ain't supposed to go out your house. What happened? He tripped. He started tripping out. He started. He had a panic attack on the plane. Dang. Let me say, if I have a panic attack, I pray to God I never have a panic attack see on the plane. I, see why? Because I'm gonna just tell you, I'm I'm against all cops brutality, but cop, just knock me the fuck out. <laughs> I rather wake up. I rather wake up, knock the fuck out, landed. Make sure it's enough that I when we land, I'm up. Oh, you want you want them to be able to rock his ass? Yeah, like just be able to rock my ass until I like I, put I a, get put I a land. Dude right in his fucking neck. I'm yeah, I want I want to land and then no, and then I'm gonna fuck you up though for doing that. But <laughs> what I'm saying is I don't want to be on the plane you fuck with the up panic attack. You out. How you sound? Yeah. Didn't he always fuck them up though? Didn't be able to always fuck them when he found out that he get into the destiny. Like, how did I get here? Is it what what happened was. <laughs> that's that's basically that's what happened. That's oh, what, happened. what happened. It was on site. As soon as he got up, everybody got it. <laughs> I pity the fool. I pity the fool. Damn. The, stay away from these edibles on the Shout plane, Shout out to Mr. Y'all. T, man. I'm just saying. Now he gonna mess it up. Dion Wade's gonna mess it up for everybody. Now they gonna no. check you before you, you get on the plane. About what Stern said that he's trying to make it legal. See NBA, NBA, yeah. but they sports, baby. He wants to ban. He wants to lift the marijuana ban. Yeah. He he does. Does. I read that I, today. Oh, you know what's crazy to me? Everybody out here talking about, oh, I don't know about marijuana. Motherfuckers, you know what y'all been doing? Missing is more like it. Oh, my. Yeah. Y'all take all kinds Listen, of... Listen, Stern is getting high. <laughs> Stern getting high like, fuck these niggas. The NBA it's better. is all fucked up because I got high. It's safer to eat. It's safer to smoke weed and eat edibles. Them to eat regular food. Yeah. yeah. And take ice cottons and all these things. We got drugs. plastic bag rice. Oh plastic bag rice, y'all. Yeah, plastic eggs. <laughs> plastic lettuce. Oh, the rubbery potatoes. Oh. We won't say where. where. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yo. All these yo, restaurants out here that. with those freaking potatoes. You can play freaking <laughs> basketball with. Yeah, I ain't trying to play no basketball with no Them fucking potatoes. just got back. <laughs> your potatoes be bouncing off the plate. They like chewing If your potato nigga. has hops. And if y'all don't know what Hobbs says, if your potato can jump, <laughs> if your potato can dunk the ball, it ain't potatoes, my nigga. Oh, no. Niggas That's bad. eating potato and eggs like it's fucking gum and shit. Bendito. That's yeah, sad. yo, why you gotta chew potatoes like 10 times and you ain't seen no freaking, it don't dissolve? Uh. <laughs> maybe, maybe they were old. Nigga, old food's supposed to like just dissipate. I guess. I yeah, don't know. I guess. It's like when you it's like when you That's go bad. and you eat chicken and that shit is mad old. Yeah. It's either oh. mad tough, yeah. it's supposed to be mad hard, oh. or it's supposed to just be like it just flat out, just be like Like push it he says, Ugh. Yeah, there's a, there's a whole um, recall on Ugh. the beef, on the chicken, on everything. There's on everything. Gotta, we gotta pray over our food. Like, just Lord. smoke that weed. And grill that, everything. But my thing is that you smoke the weed, you get high, and then you get hungry. You gonna eat paper. <laughs> Yo, you gonna. Niggas out here like donkeys. You know you gonna see. Paper. You gonna see people playing. Ba- <laughs> people playing basketball thinking they, they dunking on people and they still on the floor. <laughs> like, man, you ain't jump yet. That's exactly what's gonna happen in the NBA. Everybody's gonna be like, Yo, what's wrong with them? It's gonna be street ball. That's what's gonna happen. Oh, Everybody's man. high. Three on three, baby. Next thing you know, they be it's having no, 40s no, on the side and it's shit. It's going to be like the 1990 fucking NBA. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. People actually, the basketball Listen. players are actually going to connect when they swing. <laughs> yep. No, it's going to be problems. <laughs> nah, I don't think it's going to be problems. I think they're going to be more relaxed. I think, no. I, no oh, you, know, you, know what, you know what's funny? It's going to be cracking jokes. It ain't going to be no different than this. Because they're smoking right now. Yeah, that's true. They're smoking right now. Like Stephen A. Smith, my nigga. Calm down. <laughs> they, they sm- Yo, Stephen A. know he's smoking. He trying to say he not smoking. Yeah, I just Man. heard Stephen A. Smith just signed a... He's about to sign this good contract, right? Another one. Another this one. Yeah, another get one. that paper, man. Get that paper. He I said he's the man. real American dream. Not Jay-Z, oh. not LeBron. Oh. Not Michael Jordan. He the oh. real... He come from the... 
from Queen's Project, son. He made it out for real for Yo, real. how you come from Queen's Project and you talking about you ain't smoking no weed? You lying, son. <laughs> Get the receipts on that dude, man. Get Somebody the receipts follow on him right somebody now. right now. Send me that picture of him in the stairway smoking that. Hey, Stephen Queen's A. Smith, bitch. we are talking about you, nigga. Yeah, you know you smoke that. You you do need to stay off that weed. As a matter of fact, hit us up on Twitter. <laughs> And we could talk about it with you. Because they know when you from the he hood and you ain't never smoked no weed, nigga. He gonna curse That's why you hate that. You know what? I know what it is, though. Because you lying. I, I think he wasn't calling it weed when he, he was, was calling, smoking what, it. he was calling it reefer? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he mad old. He mad old. <laughs> you still pass that reefer. That's why he could Yo, say can, he was smoking wait, no look, weed. Can you, can you imagine Stephen A. Smith on weed? He'll you be just another level. No, he now he be, be cool. slower. He be slow. He, won't be he, be, he be talking. He be talking. He, uh, 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 I be talking. Uh, uh, so he when he's on weed, he gonna be talking like this. I will be saying that LeBron. <laughs> he talk like a white dude. He won't talk like a black dude. He'll, he'll, yeah. he'll, he'll slow down. <laughs> he'll, he'll slow. He, now I'm in a white. He'll talk proper. He'll talk very proper. Wow. Very English manly. Well, Stephen A. Smith, if you hear this, we just cracking jokes, brother. Don't take it personal. We are very proud of you as a black man to be where you at and you holding ESPN down. Woo. Just stop the stop the stop the bashing on the weed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just knock that off, my knock, G. Knock oh, that yeah. off. The yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said if you're using it for medical reasons, as I am, uh, it's good to do. But to use it, man, you should use it for no. everything. They got weed to Listen, help your man. bones. They got weed to help you if you can't get it. They up. got weed. They for got his weed. <laughs> they got weed for his hairline. Oh, yeah, you smoke that weed and you get that shape well, you know up, what? that you, that fade. You, you get know that, what? Fade. that natural you, Bosley going on. You, you catch that fade. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I got give him props. At least he ain't do the LeBron shit. Nah, LeBron. Did shit. y'all see LeBron shit? Yeah, he had to fix his shit. His shit was lifting. Remember what the fuck? Uni was like, yo. Nigga had a carpet they were like, up there. Nigga. Well, I don't see the girl. black carpet, bro. So basically, the dude said that you know they don't let people wear fitted. So he got his fitted twenty four seven. He go to sleep with his fitted. He keep his fitted well, all thing, the time. My thing is, do you think they glue it on? Like what happened? The heat, the the, the sweat, it unglued that oh shit. Oh my lord! That shit was flapping, my nigga. Maybe Ooh. he needs to talk to uh, this dude. Got the best. I heard he got the best hairline shit going on. Who Tory Lanez? Um, he got, but he got that from from Tiger. From Tiger. So if LeBron make the connection with Tiger, maybe he should be right. First of all, y'all need to be talking to the ladies that really know how to hold shit down. They know how to put a lace front. Yeah, for real. Maybe that. Yeah. You are yeah. supposed to sew this shit. Do like Africans <laughs> oh, do, bro. No. You are supposed to take the needle and the thread, and then you can push that shit through your scalp, and then when you put that shit together, it make it look all right. That's what I'm talking about. Holy shit! What this? He got enough. He got to know. He got to thread that shit. No, what you are supposed <laughs> to do is you take the freaking the wave cap. I seen that shit on TV, and that's how you do that shit. You oh, take he got to glue the wave. You got to glue the wave cap, and you sew the wave shit on the wave cap. Wave cap. Be mad tight, you know what I'm saying? We got that shit right here. We have got to be well, mad I'm tight. Say something from my greatest <laughs> He's like this on the sideline. I'm just saying, slapping in his this shit. Is, this is how the hood come together and give and give knowledge to the to the to the, to the, to the people's out there. I think the funny part out of the whole shit was your man, your man, the brow was looking at him like he was like you he was like you <laughs> <laughs> But that's but that's. That's that's the dude. I, that's my wingman. That's the dude I want. Word. Wait, 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 shit. He that's like, the dude he like, on the team. My, my man, it, my he, dude, he my wasn't dude. Subtle nah, about it, nah. That's he was problem. he was subtle. He should shit on TV. He was yeah. subtle. Nah, nah he was his girl nigga. He'd be like, yo, the huddle, 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 huddle. Yo, man. Time out, time out, time out, time out. He'd be doing the Martin Hand and shit over his forehead. Like, nigga, nigga. Yo, how how is yo? How he get away with it though? Because. They didn't kill him, they bro. I guess because he's he's LeBron, right? Nah, they it's just, like, him. You, they it's just, it's just him. like Kanye. Like you see Kanye talking about now he's doing uh he want to be called the Jesus Christian what, billionaire. What what the this dude? Somebody give this dude some cereal. Listen, that album was whack. I didn't like it. And uh, forget the album. The man is out what there the portraying. Well, okay, the if, album was trash, but the Chick Fil A song. Oh, that's no, the song. No, okay, first no. of all, who gives a shit? About this dude writing something about chicken. You said stop you the could chicken, be my chicken. number one with the lemonade. With the lemonade, nigga. <laughs> Do my Chick Fil A. Yeah, after I seen dudes getting stabbed for chicken, I don't care how. Yo, good. did you see them slam the fifty-five year old? Yo, <laughs> listen. If you case they you don't know, us. 
We talk about this Popeye's chicken Listen, craze. Listen, I've seen the, the worker smuggling chicken sandwiches, selling them on the side. The fucking staff put the beats to her ass. <laughs> somebody had Wait, a fucking fryer on. pan in their hand. Listen. Stop right there. They DDT somebody in the f- the 55-year-old woman. They DDT'd her fucking ass outside in the parking lot. What the fuck? Listen. What are they putting in this chicken? I'm just you're mad. A, you're, you're, you're a I chef. I tried it. You're a chef. You tried it? I have. Oh, hold up. I need to hear about this. It was good. I don't think it's better than Chick-fil-A. But it was good. So let me tell you the story, right? It was good, but I'm not slapping your mama for it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Listen. Like, I, I, like, the first time. The, let me ahead, get this ahead. off. Did you just say that there was a nigga side hustling the chicken inside a worker? Let me get the Bronx. Cooked. No, I wasn't in the Bronx. A worker was Nick- smuggling the chicken sandwiches, selling them on the side. <laughs> and when the staff found out, they got the beats on the clock. Son. Niggas is selling fast listen, food on the side. In the back, niggas, they is, they niggas got new beat. hustles out here, son. Listen, foot to fucking necks in the back of the fucking restaurant. Hey, and the ass? dude at the fucking register, like, oh, this is what the fuck is going on here. I'm like, he's going to lose his job. He's instigating instead of calling the fucking authorities. Does that shit come with a meal? Or does that shit come with, like, I don't understand. Like, you just get the sandwich. It don't come with no fries, no nothing. It could nothing. be an entree. It could be a fucking side order. It could be, yeah. It could be a whole meal. Yo, all I'm waiting for now it's is like, a wedding planning with, with, it's like with Popeye's chicken. Chick-fil-A is it's like... It's coming. It's like, you know... Catering. It's like, you know, the, the bland... Yo. Chicken Wait. sandwich. I'm not trying to offend nobody. And then you know the the Popeye chicken sandwich. It's the urban chicken. It's the urban chicken. Then you know what they should do? They should serve that Popeye chicken with liquor. But wait. Serve that. Uh, serve listen. that shit with some cognac. I said serve that shit with real some... interesting. What? <laughs> I said, what's gonna happen in 20 years from now? Oh, the all... commercial. The commercial. Check out the like, commercial, people. Um, this is a warning. <laughs> if you try Popeye chicken. In 2019, you made me suffer for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It could happen. It could happen, son. Listen. Listen, call 1 800 Lossky. (laughs) Whatever the fuck. They gonna get everybody. Everybody gonna have that new disease, that yeah, Popeye's disease. Is what was, shit it, what was that like, shit that they had? The I mosquito, the My chicken gunya. Yo, they gonna call it. that shit the chicken gunya, son. <laughs> the chicken gotcha. The chicken gotcha. That's gonna be that new disease in twenty years. They're gonna be like, yo, you, if you suffering from chicken gotcha, <laughs> that, that shit means is you Popeye had flu. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, pop shit. flu. <laughs> yeah, yo. Imagine. You never know. Yo, the government is behind you know this shit, You need to write that down in a piece of paper. Somebody did a meme. <laughs> Somebody already said it. Like, <laughs> I was just shit. telling you Yo, what I read. I, I honestly have never <laughs> tasted... Mesothelioma in 20 years. I have Yo. never tasted that, that chicken. So, in 2039, we go check back with y'all niggas. It just tastes like, you know, like one of us made it. I'm just going to say it like that. Like, one of us made it. Niggas just went in there and yeah. put a little bit of beer on that shit. Yeah, let's, let's, it let's, has like a mouth. crunch to it. Some it adobo. Has, it has seasoning, you know. Un poquito de adobo. It, it doesn't have that seasoning. It don't have that crunch. But to me, I, I just like, I so, like it so better. So you think it got like Goyo seasoning? It got the, the Louisiana seasoning because uh, they're, they're a Louisiana restaurant. Okay. So whatever spices and herbs, you can taste it. And when you bite it, it's like. And you know what's the shit? Cause they it's only, good though. They're only showing the minorities, but they're not showing the the white folks fighting too. Oh, I gotta see that. I haven't seen yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I seen white it. Folks. But what they doing is they, they they pretty much have to portray the you know the stereotype. So my thing is that why they don't got security because white castle out here got security. I still can't get no white castle Yo, out no, here. So this is this they is got this is the crazy the thing, right? So white castle comes to Arizona and. Ain't no beef, ain't no problems. No, ain't no problem. You know why? Because they got security. They, you know, they out there regulating. You know, and out here, everybody, everybody could carry. So it ain't you ain't getting the beats. You get a cap in your ass for the fucking White Castle. For a burger. So it's different. It's different out here. They making that paper though. Niggas, they gonna lose their lives out if, here if for fucking chicken if, rings. If the person who opened that sticks. site, right? Who, who, whoever opened it, they need to open another one. If they smart, they, listen. Oh, they've been open almost. A, it's gonna be a month now, right? Almost a month. They've yeah. sold themselves, and they still crazy. Yeah. Like I can't. I, I'm, somebody I'm, wait four hours. I'm ten minutes away, and I can't even get me Damn, a freaking ten sack. 
Maybe in the new year we could go as a family and just go take the van and go get some. Now I'm going to be tight if I go. Charlie Brown goes to White Castle. I'm going to be some tight ass black man if I go over there and the freaking, you know, the 10 sack is whack. And not for nothing, I wanted to get like dirty. I want the grill to get seasoned. Yeah, this shit, people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's just not going to taste the same. You know my thing, though. When I go for the White Castle, I don't eat until I'm home. Oh, no. It's gonna be cold by that time. Now I have the I have the first I have the first one, but the rest. Oh no! I need to be close. I need to be close to my throne, bro. <laughs> Damn. That shit is explosive. That shit is explosive, so son. Explosive. Damn. Man. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm sorry if y'all if y'all you, you know if y'all listening and y'all like oh I'm disgusted. Fuck you. Go up. Damn, go the fuck man. up. Stop being so fucking sensitive, motherfuckers. Yeah. Man, Freaking year of the sensitive. Soon, soon we'll go to White Castle. Year yeah. of the sensitive motherfuckers. Well, let's get to the nitty gritty. What is the nigga? Power. I thought we. Oh, power. this is supposed to be a power podcast. This is a everything podcast. Oh, uh, this is what that is. This okay. is what brings us back to reality. Yo, I, yo, I see the. Fans me- are missing us. Did you see the meme where they show you that this dude is crippled for next season? Listen, man. <laughs> season I'm t- seven, I'm bro. Tired yeah, I'm yo, tired. he put a he put a meme with this dude crippled in a wheelchair. I'm like, yo, if he gonna be thugging it and thumping it and. Yo, oh, look, the cops is they coming. Looking, the cops they're looking, looking for, for ghosts. This is how you know. <laughs> they, they're looking for Jay-Z. He don't want to shot him. Live, li- live on location. Oh, my God. The that's eagle that, eye. The eagle yeah, eye. That's how West Coast so we got to do, a, we gotta do a, whole, a full review of the season, right? Listen, man. I'm going around, starting it off fresh. Give me your best episode for this, for this mid-season. Oh, man. It had, I don't know if it was the second to last one or the third to last one when Tariq was like, you may have, you know, you may have been my father. You nutted me, nigga. You, but you was never my father. When I told you I got up from my seat and started pasting in my phone. You felt that shit, right? Nigga, you felt that shit, that shit hit your face. I would have caved that, that was a crackhead. That was a crackhead fiend move Yo, right there. it was too much for me. That that moment, that and when um, when Tasha, Shakisha, a bitch shed a tear. That was the same episode. It was okay. Yeah. I don't remember, but yeah. Well, let it be it. I cried. I was crying. I didn't. Unfortunately, I I didn't have an emotional attachment to any I of did. the seasons. That uh, part I did. Not not to the seasons, but to the episodes. The one that I I felt really really like. Wow, this is some extra shit. Is when Tommy went in the the penthouse and just laid like he had no regard for his for this is your boy's crib. Oh, and he's trying to go after. He destroyed his house. He did. He, he de- killed Proctor. He killed house. Proctor. He destroyed his house. Yeah, and it felt like I would do that if that's my enemy or someone. So it shows that that beef with between the two, although they're playing friends, frenemies. Yeah. He doesn't have that line anymore. No, there's no remorse now. There's yeah. No, yeah, there's no boundary. Yeah, so now they're playing, like, those contracts where it's like, today we friends, tomorrow we enemies, we're going to shoot to the game, whatever. But I felt like that, that set the pace so people didn't understand where it was like, okay, I'll come at you whenever. It don't matter if it's in church. Damn. It don't matter where, where you at, I'm coming at you. I thought, man, listen, when he showed up at, at Club Truth, he was making his little announcement when he was going to be the mayor or whatever he was going to be. He showed up. He was there. I don't. He showed up and then he left. He didn't do anything. Talking about Tommy. Yeah, and I, I talking about that. I think the ending. My prediction is the ending was cut in out of order. I'm mad because the way that Tommy, like you said, Tommy was already at Truth, but then they show him going to Truth again. Yep. I don't think you 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 do that. Yep, I agree. I don't think you do. That. I don't think you go somewhere and then you come back. The same thing with with Pause. So yeah, pause was already pause. there. Yeah. And then she's going back. To yep. me, I don't see you do that. I'm mad that Ghost is even interested in that young lady. And Ramona? I yeah, I'm I'm mad. I felt like it was forced. I, don't I think felt so. like there really it was wasn't no fast. connection. It was too fast for I, me. I don't I don't think so because Ghost know. Ghost's been looking for redemption. And Ghost all he's ever wanted is for a woman by his side. To believe in him. And just remember, they're she, rushing these episodes too. Yeah, but she's pushing, she's pushing like, here, I could do this. 
the love, the interest. I don't think there's love and interest there. I give, I give you that. But I, I definitely think it. the ambition that he has, she's yeah. that for him. Oh yeah. There's nobody's gonna. Re- they just show you that no one's gonna replace his girl. Oh my god. Every time she come back, yeah. that's another thing. That Every time she comes back as as a ghost, yeah. I feel that shit. Yeah, because that's the whole thing. I, I, I have a connection to that. I don't know why. I don't know. It's because I've been with BX Lou for many years, and we went to high school together, and I don't know if that's what it is. And I could, like, put myself in that situation. Like, God forbid something was happened to him, and I'm living my life, and he just pops up as a ghost, and, and we talk about things that yeah, we never were wild. able to talk about. That, that, I, have a, I have a connection that, yeah, to that. I'm dirty. I tell my wife, I'll fuck you up if you ever, if I come back and you with somebody. I'll it just fuck, breaks I'll my fuck heart. I'll y'all up. This I'll kick you in the chest, so and I'll kick this nigga up. And I'll kick that nigga in the chest. So it's just, ass nigga. It's just I'm breaks sorry. my heart every time. I and I wonder if that was trust. it the last time. I wonder if that was it. Like, well, she said that's it. Yeah. You're not going to see me anymore. Nah, I don't believe it. Nah, I think so. I hope well, not. Well, you it's know five what? episodes. Come on, they ain't going to show You know what's going to happen? Because the show's already been wacky. They both going to be ghosts. <laughs> These are freaking <laughs> clowns. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. You, you know, wait. <laughs> Are we talking about power? If you haven't no. seen Power on Stars, this is what we're talking about right now. This dude just came out with the most ridiculous he fan said, fiction both bullshit that we ever heard of. Talking about they both matter. gonna be ghosts. They, they, she dead, he dead. Fuck it, they so both. Gonna they have ghost sex. Like, Did you see that? Did you see? They that? done that shit before. Huh? I mean, you, fifty cents. Talking, a freak. Talking, talking about ghost sex. Did you see where Shorty was like, "Yeah, I got banged by a ghost." Yes. And she, and she was like, "How was it?" <laughs> It was, it was everything. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, that's called wet dreams. That ain't called you no know, bang by them oh ghosts. That's called wet dreams. Lord. Oh, you ain't talking about no ghosts. Don't have... we? Don't we both? All three of us know somebody who said that they had sex with a ghost. Yeah, I do. I know. I know uh, they got I, raped by yeah. ghosts. Yeah, they didn't get sex. They got raped. Uncle, There's a well, difference. Basically, it's raped right then. Yeah, it's different. If you, I'm, Listen, I'm sleeping. And sh- and but the good thing up, is, and I'm gonna say shorty because y'all niggas don't play with me. <laughs> Shorty ran up on me and just, what can you do though? You don't have you. You gonna take that ghost pussy? <laughs> the good thing is you don't need no condom though. No rash. <laughs> no rash. No rash, bro. No rash. <laughs> Inside joke. Inside joke. No rash. You gotta worry about nothing. You can nut off. That's wild though. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's how you wake up. Should be all on the bed and shit. Like what the he fuck said, happened? That's how you wake up. That's how you wake up. People don't listen to these two months. That's your that's your alarm. Your alarm yeah, is when you know. You wake up like, oh yeah. shit, that really happened. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hey. hey we got, oh, we got a visitor. Oh, we got a visitor. And <laughs> they, she comes bearing gifts. We're serving just to let you know that we're all, we're, we're all we're all live. Okay. Live Thank live you. podcast. How long, is, how long is this podcast? Been? We have switched oh, so many man. things already. Listen, now that's that, good, listen, though. Listen, it's the comeback. It's the comeback season. You know, it's all, all, there's all been a lot mixed. going on in our lives, and yeah. we're here now, and that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. That's how we. We do still it. on power though. Still on power. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the ending. Who you think? Shot I should, rec- I should record you and put you on. I don't YouTube. think he's dead. Record me. I, I just don't. I don't think he's dead. Hold on. You think he's dead? Look, what, what? She's, she's got your feelings. You think he's dead? Listen, you think man, I already lost Odell. I can't lose Omari too, Let me man. tell you something. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm just waiting for him to upload. Oh, he's going man. to record me live. BX Lou here. Oh, my God. I'm going to tell you the ending. Y'all going to be pissed when the ending comes true. I don't, I don't even know if I want to hear this bullshit. You don't want to hear it? I don't know, You man. sure? I don't think. Yeah, you know, I try to go live. It says your your podcast does not meet the eligible requirements <laughs> <laughs> for mobile live streaming. You can still stream with your webcam or broadcasting. So, man, go to YouTube. Do something. Out of here with this bull crap. Uh, Yo, unbelievable. All right. Okay, you ready? <laughs> the, the, the ending of power. Oh and my this god. This is this is gonna be the video when we all realize okay. that throughout the whole six seasons. Yeah. Ghost was already a ghost. Was already a ghost. You heard it. You want to sit out with a straight face? BX Lou. Fifty oh, power review. Holla at me, power. Listen, my fifty listen. need to hit me up, man. First of all, he needs to hit me up. Y'all how he went through too, his G. whole life as a ghost and nobody realized That's, it. This is what I'm saying. How they all were seeing how? the ghost. You see? You gonna see? No. You gonna see? No. You gonna see? No. 
If this is true, 50, you need to just give me a job because I got a lot of ideas. 50 ain't fucking with you, bro. He'll fuck with me, man. And money is everything, right? Everything's about money. It's not happening. Watch yeah, this, the this is BX Lou tripping. He already smoked out. Oh, so. no. I got more right here, nigga. What you talking about? He smoked out already. He tripping. That's the truth. Y'all all gonna right. be mad when that's that all, shit That's all y'all gave. If y'all want to listen to the rest, listen to the podcast. Out. That's just nuts. You <laughs> see? You know how long he went? Be, if he's a ghost, as of when? When do you think he was a ghost? He became a ghost. The friendly ghost. When? <laughs> when? After he shot the guy in the first scene of the first season. Oh, hell no. Now you wild. You telling me he went a whole six seasons, yeah. five seasons as a ghost? Yeah. Now you bugging. What was the name of Yo, that show? stop smoking that shit, oh. nigga. Nah. Welcome to Cincinnati, I think Welcome was the name of the show. Cincinnati. Who the fuck? They never went to Cincinnati. Listen to me. What? That whole show ran for 13 years, if I'm not mistaken. Thir- what 12, 13. show? Welcome to Cincinnati. And? At the end of the show... The guy was a ghost the whole time. 13 years, nigga. So you saying that this is what 50 Cent is doing? I'm giving you a shot in the arm. It hasn't been done in over 40 years. It's going to happen. Yo, holla at me, Fifth. BXLU at gmail.com. I'm get work. <laughs> that, dude, that dude is high. I'm sorry. Okay. He, he does represent her Listen, news media, like but, he's, but he's, he's high. Ramon, I don't like Ramona. She need to lay up off my man. Like You know what I'm pissed off about? No. I don't like her. They still ain't killed this bitch Tasha. Why you why they want her to get She did one? catch a fade though. By From who? the front. Exactly. <laughs> she caught a fade. I liked, I liked it when he did that. Oh my goodness. She's I like, do it, it. Do it to me. That like he choke her arm, like, yeah, choke that bitch. <laughs> Yo, choke me. there's a new environment, man. Just choke me. There's a new well, world. It, it, it Big Slu, I want you to choke me, oh, nigga. Shit. <laughs> okay. At least you got it recorded. Yeah, you true. can't. Yes. Yo, true. but you can't bush me, yeah. though. You can't bush me. You can <laughs> choke me out. You got the R. But Kelly. You, ain't bushing me. you got the R. Kelly. Man, you got fuck R. Kelly, man. That shit broke my heart, man. Fuck that nigga, man. It breaks my heart. I can't listen to his music. I'm listening to his man. Fuck that. Nah, man. I can't do it. I'm not supporting the man. You doing? You supporting him? By How? The street. Every time you play his music, he get paid. Yeah. It's sad. Unless it's a CD. But... If you got a CD, yeah. yeah if you, you got a CD, by. then it is... You know, he's not getting paid from that no more. He already got paid when he purchased Damn, it. Damn! You fucked up my stream. whole... Yeah. Yeah. Shit. It, yeah. yeah. It breaks my heart. And I think my Pandora knows. Because it has... I've been listening to you? R&B for days. And not one R. Kelly song comes on. Let me just tell you. Did you hear the new Bougie Brown song? No. We did not. Oh, y'all need to listen to that. Oh, I took for power to music. Because yeah, it be like that sometimes. It, it's this a is, all, because this all is good a, news media. This is an all-encompass podcast. At bxlu19 <laughs> at gmail.com, my nigga. I'm done. Hit me up, my nigga. I'm done. Can we talk about T.I.? We can talk about T.I. What's up with oh, T.I.? Lord, oh, you don't know? know? Hit me oh, up. Tell me what it's yeah, about. This is, going for another, this is going left. This is going all the way left. I'm going to let BX Lou break the news to you. Since you a father of a daughter, BX Lou. So oh, is that the? St- I saw a, a snippet of the, the 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 headline. They just said something about would you take a girl, your daughter, for uh, yeah, pass me or some shit. I don't know. A GYN appointment. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Hit, hit, yes. hit me. Hit me with it. See, I say yes because he wants to make sure that his daughter is still a virgin. She's eighteen. How do you feel about specifically? That? He wants to know if she still has her hymen. He's outside. You okay, dog. You still got your hymen? No. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know what? You don't know what a hymen is. No, I don't. Oh, man. Damn. Break it down is, to the folks. Yeah, hymen is like a, a, a bloody mucus of some sort that is in the, the vaginal It's like area. a fucking plug, my nigga. It's like a plug. And, you know, once, you know... Action happens, it, it breaks, it's like popping the cherry, so that's what the hymen is. And so he goes to the Say, appointments with his daughters, he sits outside, and waits for the doc with the report to make sure that her hymen is still intact. That's a bit much for me. Me too. I think that's really invasion of privacy. She's 18. And then that's one thing, right? That's what you do. It's nobody's business that you're doing that to her. So now I know she's mortified. Yeah, because they're going to make fun of her. Why is it on TV, though? Because he said it on he a podcast. He said it on a podcast. I don't even know how they came to that question. Like, how do you even, like, 
how, how do you even have those type of conversations? I, I have a hard time having other conversations with my daughter. And she's 23 years old. So I, I can only imagine how this she allowed, But she allowed it to do She allowed it to do that. That's her father, you know. But Fuck don't that. Wait a minute. No, 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 she allowed no, no, no. him to do that. Hold on, 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 hold on. I'm 40 years old and there's still a lot of bullshit I let my father do. Wait a minute. So, so, I have a yeah, question. Okay. okay, there you so go. So I need you to understand that it don't, age, don't matter nothing. She's 18, right? Yes. Don't HIPAA laws. Yeah, that's a whole. So how the fuck? It may be a. a Maybe she had to sign off on that. Of course, she had to yeah, sign she off let on him. That. She probably fucking. He and probably no. scared. So what's gonna happen? Shit. Okay, she still got hymen intact. That don't mean she ain't she ain't going through the back door. You know, no disrespect to his daughter. That don't mean that she ain't doing other things. Facts. And to be quite frankly, it's not only intercourse that uh, you know breaks that the hymen yeah. to, to happen. Other things can happen. Yeah, she could be riding a so, bike. Yeah. And slip. And, you know, and, and, and slip on something. You know? But, yeah, so I don't know, man. It's, it's right, a bit much. That's a way too much. And you see, this all goes back to what I be saying that. So if he has a dude, a if he has a boy, what he gonna do? He got he gonna check. He gonna, he gonna check. That's exactly what I'm saying. He gonna saying. check his joint. Like I don't understand. Like how do you figure that it out? It doesn't matter. They boys, they don't, they don't need that. They dirty, different. right? That's what you say. No, it's not that. It's that they don't have a vagina. Oh boy. You know how like what I say? A vagina. I don't get no respect because I got a vagina. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. But you know, at the end of the day, everybody, you know, they, they, everybody parents in their own way. And it's really none of our business. I just feel bad. Yeah. I just feel bad for her. I don't think she... Because I know she's more She should have went through that. Yeah, that's crazy. That's just a bit much. Can we, can we talk about something a little bit older? Oh, Lord. A little bit mature? A little bit more serious. Because I'm like, you, were, you, already about, went, you already went like all the way I want to talk about Epstein, son. Who's what Epstein? About Epstein? You know that they did a, a, a two more autopsies? Yeah, he got strangled. No. Nope. Was he got strangled or asphyxiation? No. Yeah, they said that they fucking murdered his ass. Yeah, they killed that him. That he didn't kill himself. Yeah, of no course, suicide. Uh, of course I'm he did. I'm not surprised. Of course. And, and now it's already under the under the rug because, yeah, it don't matter. you know, those, those are the things it's, that happen. isn't that crazy, though? No, it's not, man. We're living in a world right now where they basically made it where everything is like a soap opera. And when you hear it on the news, you basically be like, oh, that's a bullshit. But is it really crazy? Like, he was, he was molesting and taking advantage of women. You right, but... but that's not the reason why he was in jail. Yes, it was. For yeah. sex trafficking. Yeah, that's the reason why. Okay. So how many men are in, in, okay. in jail that you, can't see their daughters you, and their wives? Right. And this nigga is out here sex you're trafficking? Right. But did you know you who gonna get he knew? Hands. That nigga wasn't... He was in solitary confinement. And yeah, it don't matter. It's the inside job. And then on top of that, he knew too much about other people. That's what I think I have. Of course. Strangled. You know what it so there's is. A lot of, there's a lot of, you know, there's the a lot of those... Theories. There's a lot of those you know, dudes still out here. You know, allegedly, but, you know, we've seen the movies. Let's skip that. Let's go to another topic. <laughs> I don't want to talk about so, these. About Chapo's. Well, you know what? Never mind. Yeah, yeah, nah. yeah, we, yeah, we'll yeah. We, we're too no, close, no, we're too close to that. Nope. 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 I'm not touching that one with an eight-foot nope. pole. Nope. 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 Move on. Uh-huh. Next. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Can we go back to power and how I want Tasha to fucking get murked already? I don't know how to die. Jumping back. Yeah. My nigga. What? All right. Who do you want? Uh, he brings up a good question. Five more episodes left, right? Damn. And these five episodes, in this couple of episodes, we've had deaths left and right. Except the people did you hear we. That? I did. Y'all get scared? No. I ain't never seen except, <laughs> except the people we want to die. So, who do you want to die in the next five episodes? And should we have a death every episode? It's just too much. That got a little old for me. Huh? That got a little old. We we were expecting a death every episode. They should have killed it after the third one, because on the fourth one everybody's waiting, 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 like double dutch and shit to jump in, and don't do it. Yeah, but I, I like I, I like it because it's like everybody was still waiting because they they still waiting. They thought it was gonna be Dre. They still waiting because they thought it was gonna be Tariq. But naturally, these are the people. Tasha that, gotta go. These are the people that are going into the prequels or, or the whatever they are doing or the sequels or whatever they are doing. So how, how are they gonna die? I don't know, but what about the two dudes that are in jail? Yeah, who they went to kill? I don't know. They went to kill freaking ghosts. You clown. They in jail. Huh? They were in jail. But remember when he spoke to the Italian dude, he asked him, do you still know somebody? On who could, the- yeah, who could get him a phone? He got him the phone. Yeah. Okay. And then he got on the phone. Why? He said, I need you to get 
uh, it was for revenge and some and some other whatever. Yeah. Money and revenge. Money and revenge. So once you know he that was like there's a plot out there. They gave us that tidbit like here's an Easter egg. Ain't nobody know what that plot is about. I don't know who it's for. I don't want to spoil it for Ice, Ice Baby. But I don't know who it's for. You can't sit out on a podcast and say I'm gonna tell her pug her ears, bro. Not and you, go ahead. <laughs> Cause you just oh you There's just told us ghost is a ghost so I think it's she's fine I think ghost. she's I'm telling you he's a friendly ghost he's, he's just called he's, he's a ghost everybody. Casper go ahead Ooh. let me hear this one that's for one person Ooh. money and revenge who did them dirty who took their money that they think did it that's what it's for who Tommy oh man that's for Tommy one hundred percent it makes sense. Well, another another thing about Tommy getting, is that when they when, were getting locked up, yeah. Tommy was there. Even and they it saw looked, him. It, looked, yeah. it seems as like though, this. even though it really wasn't exactly. Yeah, but you know, perception is everything. Yep. What happened to Tommy when when they went? That brings up a, a good point. What happened to Tommy when he was shoot when they were shooting in the in the the the, the yard? Yeah. He disappeared. He disappeared. He disappeared, but the, but he showed up at yeah. the ceremony at yep. Truth. Yep. Yeah. That was yeah. He showed up afterwards, so yeah. obviously he's not dead. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, why did he just disappear? Why did he just leave? That was like kind of weird. Because and it, and then it was weird how he squashed it with, with Ghost. No, he didn't. He ain't squashed nothing with Ghost. Because I almost feel Tommy like, can't be trusted. Yeah, I think yeah, of course. I think Tommy actually hired that dude to kill Ghost. And then Tommy went murked that nigga because he realized he didn't want to kill Ghost at the, but at no, the time. But no, no, no. That person that was dead was looked like they were dead for a minute. Yeah, they've been dead for a minute. They were, they were, that wasn't a fresh kill. Mm-mm. They were just dead. They were just dead. I don't know, man. I, I don't trust die. Ramona. I don't trust her. Well, yeah, well, she's the one that does... She's the only one that doesn't have, like... A motive. A motive, so that's that always... That's, uh, that was always the person that has a but motive. But that's that's what we know of. We don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, we don't know what who What backstory she, who she, she has. Who to fuck with. Yep. Yeah, everybody's yeah. saying that she's the brother, the sister of this dude of Silver or whatever. I don't know. I thought Silver was. I thought um, um, Knox was gonna kill himself. Me too. When he pulled out the gun and he was drunk. He was fucked oh, up Sachs. in his apartment. Sax, I meant yeah. So they fucked you over there because yeah, they're like, oh, we're gonna I, go. I with thought the typical, that he was gonna commit suicide typical because white boy kill himself. They put out a warrant for his arrest. I, I I'm think like, he oh. got close, and I think that's the reason why I think he's the one that shot. Uh, um, Ghost. Ghost. But I don't think it's one person shooting. I think they all showed up. Showed up, but not all of them because I don't think they showed like it a in, in the sequence. Like no, a fire line? get the fuck out of here! No, no, no. He pissed a lot of people off. That so last it's dark. Episode. It's dark, right? So yeah. when everybody go up in there to to bust off, they probably shoot each other. Nah, they all shoot and don't know who fucking shot them. Oh, this is coming all my children all over again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, like everybody bust off. Yo, like he fell for like two hours. He just was falling. I told you that nigga's a ghost, nigga. <laughs> Casper. Watch, you're going to see. It's going to be a trial. And like, yo, the, the whole trial is a story. You know? It is going to be a trial. I think they, every episode, it's five episodes, and there's five, and there's five people. So I'm there's so Paz. Sad. So Paz is going to tell her version of what happened. Yep. Because she, she had a gun and she fired. Then there's Tommy. But don't she, Tommy. ain't her gun, her sister's gun? I don't know. Yo, Fifth, hit me up, my nigga. So if, if, if her gun is her sister's gun, she did it. So then there's Tommy. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, isn't Pa's gun... Um, I try to go back to see, but I can't tell. The sister's gun. Because at one point, Tariq had that gun. Then she took the gun from Tariq. She put it in her, sh- in yep. her house, in her safe. Yeah. Then Tasha went and got the gun. And then Ghost had the gun. Then Go- Ghost gave the gun back because it was Angela's gun. So whoever went through Angela's stuff, but like she the went end, through Angela's stuff and she died. I think, the sister, I think the sister got her gun. Oh, I think Sox took the gun. Oh. Cause he a thieving ass nigga. He's a di- he's a dirty ass. He, his life is on the line. He Not, about to go to jail. He he means well. He's just going about it. Yeah, but he's wrong. at the he's at that. You know when you he's push somebody desperate. all the way to the like the last. And that I, brings up a good point. The new commissioner. Yo, he's funny money, son. The ball guy. Oh, yeah, I, I definitely he's think... A, there's something going on with him. Either he's really good at his job, or he worked for Ghost. Yeah, him and... Him oh, and, he is Ghost. Him and, oh, Lord. Him and, him and Ghost got it. Re- something's some, going on something, there. Something is, is up there. Right? Because 
he decided to squash the case by submitting but the evidence that he knew. Once he submitted the the evidence, he knew the judge was gonna throw it out. I don't. I don't even believe that. What? I don't believe that he threw it out. I feel like because every time they got a step ahead in the case. And someone internally knew. Somebody internally always said something to somebody. So they always had an upper hand, started murking niggas before they actually got closer to the solving. Right. Mm-hmm. So I feel like they did a different approach and just told everybody, yo, it's, it's, it's dead, it's dead. We're not fucking with this, with this case anymore. We're not fucking with the case anymore. But they really working But they the really back. working behind the scenes because they're trying to avoid giving them the upper hand to know something internally to start fucking shit up and fucking up their case. I'm thinking they're doing a different approach. I don't know because... Yo, I don't, Fifth. I don't, I don't think... at gmail.com. Hit us up, nigga. Because even, even when, the, even when Shorty there, got the, 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 the warrant, she didn't have a legit warrant. Like, like, I feel like if she had a legit warrant, she would have had backup. She came with a warrant by herself, Dolo. Mm-hmm. You don't come with a warrant, Dolo. Like, no one does that. She came with the paper that she's in the car, and she looked like that. She's like, damn, this shit's not even, like, real, real, but I'm going to have to use this. And she came by herself. So I feel like if that was the case where they were trying to do that, they would have had backup. They would have all these little guys in blue or whatever, whatever. Yeah. I, I, I think it, it, they played it off the way they're supposed to play it off, and I just think all these niggas going to have an episode where they're going to say they didn't do it, this is what happened. By the time they got there, he was already shot, or they fired a shot, but they didn't know. And it's like five of them. Do y'all think Kanan is really dead? Definitely. Yeah, they smoked that nigga. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think he got... He, okay. he, he, so he's a ghost. He's a, that nigga's definitely a ghost. Okay. He was the original ghost. I'm looking at it like, who's going to the sequel, and who's going to the to the other... It's gonna, well, the sequel should so be the, about the, the kid. The sequel is about, definitely going to be about... Tariq. His bitch ass. So he definitely gonna make it. I wonder if the girl from the college is gonna come back. What girl? Oh yes. The girl that fucking Yeah, she's set definitely him up. well that's part of the that's part of the Easter egg. So he's gonna have to he's gonna have to deal with her yeah. for that. She and can't then be trusted. that broke my heart. And then Time she to kill her father, right? The Spanish no. guy. The Puerto Rican dude. Yeah. That's her father. I just brought that to my Wasn't sister. wasn't that ghost that killed him? Nah, it was Tommy in the, in the car. Acting crazy. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. 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 Wait, wait. What you said? Who? The, that girl from Spanish, college? The yeah. Spanish guy. Yeah. You what said, about her? You think that that's the the Puerto Rican guy? Oh that yeah. That's definitely that's definitely his daughter, or wow. his or relative of some sort. Yo, fifth. I'm telling you. And but then that, what we gonna do about the teacher? Because you know the teacher, he got the product. Well, that's all for the that's all for the sequel, right? Uh-huh, so uh-huh. that's what I'm saying. Tariq is definitely off to the sequel. That's definitely gonna happen. Damn, man. He's definitely making it out of there. Without his mother and without his father. Without his mo- well, he might make it with his father. His father might be the one that have to to take that L for him, regardless. His father yeah, might. Yeah, but he just got L. shot. No, but what I'm saying is, now his father might definitely make it to be governor, right? After getting shot. After getting shot, because he pretty much got it. He pretty much gave him the job. It's possible. But remember, Tasha, Tasha Blue Gosa with with the killing that they found this thing in the trunk. Nah, they, they threw that shit out. Oh yeah, that's right. Because it wasn't enough. Yeah, they threw that we don't shit know out because he had that dirt on his shoe. And all yeah, yeah, like, they threw that <laughs> shit out. So that shit ain't gonna that shit ain't gonna stick. Tasha is done because she's always been the problem from the day one with the episode when he told her, Tasha, I don't want to sell drugs no more. I don't yeah. want to do that. And now it's completely reversed. Everything that she was like, Ghost, you ain't never gonna be shit. You always gonna sell drugs. You always gonna da, da, da. typical woman oh. hating on the man. Oh, here we go. Because she didn't want him to improve. She wanted him to be the same dirtbag that he was his whole life. He trying to do better. She was like, nah, how you going to be better? You always going to have to do this drug shit. Now he changing. And now she doing the drug shit. And now she doing the drug shit. I wonder if her little boo thing is going to be around. He should be a part of the sequel. Because he's probably going to bump heads with Tariq. They need a strong character to bump heads with him. And that, that, That guy's a strong character. Yeah. So that'll work. I think most of the people they introduce at the ending uh, is people that's going to move over to the... Uh, definitely Tate. Tate Yo, I don't know how to act, but nigga, I'll learn for the right price. <laughs> oh, Lord. Be actually up there in the big screen. Yo, you Tate. Know what I, mean? I don't trust Tate. Yo, that nigga need to get shot too. Him, Tasha. I, I like him as an actor, so I definitely he think he He does really need, well. He needs to be... He does he really needs well. He needs to be a he big plays that role part. Really well. he, he plays a 
little dickhead. And I hope they bring Chris Brown to the sequel, so that'll be that'll be very good. As Chris what? Brown, why? Because Chris Brown was supposed to be in the ending of Power. As a as a character. As a character, but oh. when whatever happened when they had that rape or whatever the situation. The last altercation oh, they had, they made 50 not put him in there because it was like a big uproar of 50. Because 50 had already said, oh, my boy's going to be in this, whatever, whatever. But now that everything has calmed down and he's a little little more, you know, accessible, I would love to see him in a sequ- in the sequel. Because yeah. they're going to be the youngins. They ain't going to be the old dudes nope. in there. You saw he so did, a, he did a, uh, a yard sale at his home. That shit was genius. The niggas, pops niggas was, bu- Yo, LAPD was burned. Niggas buying his trash, son. You ever, Niggas you is ever buying his sneakers? trash. Have you ever seen his room when he had sneakers? No. It's, big, it's bigger than the whole first floor. Okay. Yeah, I don't watch these niggas. Bruh. Yeah. Crazy. It's like yeah. a warehouse almost. Yeah, I don't was, watch these niggas because you know what it is? I feel like people are wasting money and wasting... And not that if you don't if you have it, you shouldn't use it. But I feel like someone like that, he has so much potential. And I feel like he doesn't have the right guidance around him. And I don't know him, and I don't know whatever, but I just feel like there's two... There's so much more he could be doing. There's so much more he could be doing. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with the domestic violence. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of... You know, I, I can agree to that. And, and and not even just that. The way that... All right, so let's change this real quick from power to, like, oh, young black people right now. Before rap used to be, major stars were getting money. Only the major artists would be making yeah. money. Not now everybody. I don't like rap, but... It's very good for the youngins because everybody's making money. Yeah. You could be a star today and you're going to be shit tomorrow. Yeah. So you're going to get the quick paycheck. You're going to make some money. They say and little Yachty is already broke. And more people are coming in. Exactly. So and this is why. I hate to cut you off. I give props to Joe Budden when he was on that show on Complex. And he said, yo, my nigga, do you have control of your shit? Yeah, he tried to tell him. He tried to school him. But the way he and went about it, it was wrong, too. It, it, it was wrong. Yeah. But the nigga was so passionate about it that he went about it wrong because he cared about yeah. the little nigga. And then the whole company, which is the Migos and QP and Coach K, all them niggas took that shit personal. Like if Joe was trying to play the kid. Yeah. And in reality, he was trying to look out for him and look at the kid now. But it, that's the that's the whole thing of rap, right? So, oh man, Joe deserves a fucking apology from somebody. Rappers, rappers has this problem where it's a crackhead game. You make and I, I I like that terminology for a lot of things because if you see crackheads the way they act, there's a lot of specifics that they do, right? You come in quick, get a hit, and get all the, good, and, get the and fuck then out. you 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 go down, you go down so hard and fast and fast. That you don't, if you don't have like sustainability, this, like, yeah. like you figure out a way to keep getting your fix, you're done. You're done, you know. So you see the crackheads that like, get hit and keep going, right? Yeah, that's how you gotta have your game. Refrigerator and fucking just bang it on your head. That's how you gotta have your game. So I feel like it's gonna be different if they start teaching these young rappers how to what make up, how to make What's better good? better decisions. Yeah. So, you know, so yeah, it's just it's just nonsense right now. Yeah. It, it's like a whack rapper could just get a million dollars right off the back. Here you go, this is yours. Yeah. And he got a whack ass song. And then back in the days, the rappers was, who was real nice struggled. To and then they pay and rent. they have more opportunities than the older rappers did, right? And they get more. Um, they get the money faster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they get the money faster than the, the older rappers did. So with all of that situation going on. You would think that there's these management companies that all violated all. Ha- I mean, I don't know who's managing now, but we had all these management companies back in the day that used to try to get these rappers, mm-hmm. these business deals, and all that stuff. You would think that these dudes will be able to get some kind of understanding. Yeah, nah. And only certain people like J. Cole and these dudes really have the yeah. the foresight to see that Nick, money these, is these, fast these, and easy, but it, it goes that rappers, quick. Yo, you give them a, a record deal, the first thing they yeah, I'm getting me a platinum chain with diamonds on it. What? Two yeah, but it's, it makes sense, though, because you never had it. This is what you emulated, right? It's so like a basketball player. If you always want to be a basketball player and you finally make it, you get your first deal. What do you do? You go splurging, son. Or you buy a mama house. Yeah, you go, you go splurging. They use, that's what they usually do. Yeah, you go, you go do what other basketball players are doing, but you don't realize a Jay-Z rapper, 
It's not the same thing as a little pump rapper. Nope. When you hang out with other people that their money's longer than you, you need to respect that. Yep. You need to have respect for that 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 that, that money. You can't be going to try to be like that oh, Jay Z money long. Too. Yes, you this can't be man. like yo. He be like, you gotta use that Kevin. You know what's his name? Was that the the comedian Jordan? Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Where he's like, the way my my checking the servants work. You know, you gotta you gotta pull that out because you can't you can't pull out if my man's pulling thousands of dollars and I know my shit needs to pay rent and I'm not gonna have it. Like my man, I can't hang with you. Tonight. And they say Jay Z's cheap too, so he ain't spending none of that money. Dude, everybody that has money is cheap because they know how hard it is to get. And keep. And, and keep, keep, yeah. It, it's, it's crazy. It's, you know how hard it is to... It's just one of those things where you're just like, man. The, the deals that he's cut in the past couple of months is just ridiculous. Like with the Puma, now um, Meek Mill brought lids. The hat Her? company, he owns lids outright. Oh, wow. Because of Jay-Z. And nigga, that's crazy. These rappers are finally putting their thinking caps on, and he's the everybody in his company has not failed. Put it like that. The well, players, you know, when you have the, the guidance, rappers, you know, it's all about guidance. And, so that's, you, so that's what, and the company you keep. Not only that, you know, regular companies like CAA and all of that, they cho- all righty then. They doing that racetrack shit. That's that NASCAR shit. They 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 charging you twenty percent of your check. This nigga's only taking eight point nine percent. Who you gonna sign with? Eight point nine or twenty percent? I mean, yeah, but that's still not gonna teach you how to maintain your money. Yeah, well, but he says he he, he he gives them lawyers. Yeah. He gives them yeah, he gives financial that. financial yeah. advisors. As much as I didn't, I don't like Jay Z, and I still don't like him about a lot of things. I still think he tries genuinely to help the young up and coming in the game. Yeah, and if they're willing to listen, they will. Like he said, they'll move forward. It's just that a lot of them are just like. You old head, like, and a lot of yeah. a, a lot of artists in the beginning left. Like he gave him, he straight up was like, "Look, you want to leave? Don't worry about it. I don't know the contract. You can leave. Like we the over." She left. I mean, shit from her. She came back. Now nah, she's in Paris. All these foreign countries. I mean, you know, at the end of the you know, day, you're gonna have the pushback. You know, yeah. it's like, listen, I'm here for you. Either you are gonna take heed or keep it moving. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm already set. Yeah, and that's the attitude he has. And I already people, got mine. People like I'm that. trying to help you get yours. So either you gonna you gonna board the train oh, and let me mold you and guide you where you need to go. Step off or step off. And he's doing the same thing with the sports. Look at the sports, the sports management division, whatever. They out. Right, went and brought Puma, and now Puma's almost up there in the top five. Talking shoes. about Puma, did you see the stupid nonsense that Kanye came with the fungi sneakers or <laughs> sneakers made out of, of fungi or whatever? You talking about the gel slippers? I don't know what Who's it is. This is gel slippers, bro. I'm like, if I'm the niggas in Rikers, I'm suing his ass. I'm like, I'm looking, but it's made out of of of, of bacteria. Nah, I, I see those. I'm you, like, I'm you like, need to look those up. I'm like, yo, yeah, look them shit. I'm like, come on, man. Like, and people still stressing this dude. Like, I'm like, yo, this dude is using y'all. Like, I have no idea. I love like, Kanye. I hate that motherfucker. I love him. You love him just, musically. I love him as an artist, but his last album was garbage. Number one, nigga, you my I number feel like one, he's nigga, with a lemonade. That nigga ain't missing. That nigga's dumb. I don't know, man. Ever since he got with her? No, ever since his mother died. This ain't got nothing to do with Kim Kardashian. I'm sorry. Ever since his mother died, he's never been the same. We want Henny Kanye back. Yes, I want the backpack and polo wearing Kanye. That nigga died. That's but right. it's all right. Everybody needs to be themselves, right? And he's yeah, trying to be and, himself. And, I, and you know what? And I love Kanye. He's bipolar. He's I, know, he's... I know what it is to live with bipolar people. I know what it is. It, know? It's it's that dude that's getting um, used by other people, and and he doesn't realize it. Mm. Mm. I guess, I guess so. Yeah, you can say that in a way. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't realize because even he's even, on the edge because he just he just did a song for Big Sean, and um, Big Sean said that it was like weird because. It was like Kanye really didn't want to be in the groove, but it was like he was holding back. He wanted to be in it. Like he was, you know, double-dutching his shit. 
So the man got issues. He definitely got, got some type of mental issues. So he's bipolar. He has issues. He's got more than that. He's bipolar. He's got issues, issues. Mama, I got issues. Men- it, mental, <laughs> mental issues all the way down. So I don't know, man. That's that's having a lot of money. I don't even like. There's a, there's been a long time I just not into his music. My favorite Kanye song is Jesus Walks and Asshole. Those are the last, that was the last, that was it. That was the, the end of for me. 808s? Yeah, that was like, after that, he that went, that, that dude went into the, the, the rabbit my hole. My click too, but my favorite was Asshole. Yeah, he, and, he um, went to the Jesus rabbit hole, walk. and I was like. Jesus Walks was number one. The closer he got to, to, to the Kardashians, the more that nigga went to the rabbit hole. I just want to, I want to go to this concert and take a little teacup and hit, and take a teaspoon and go, clink, clink. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> just, and just to wins? see if he wakes up. <laughs> King when it was Watch the Throne. Was he with King? That was the beginning. Oh my God. That was the beginning. Watch that was the, the beginning of that. That was one of the best concerts. That's when, that's when, that's when she started separating. That shit was four What do people hours. do when they see you have... This is what they do. Kanye had Jay-Z, which was his rock. Yeah. That person that sent it him, he had his mom that sent it him. So what do you do when you want to con- control somebody? You take away all their solid foundation. Yeah. And then you try to become that for them, and then that person is just they're lost. So what you saying that he, she guys she got his mother killed? No, no, no. I'm saying oh. when she, I'm saying like that she now said it to the wrong surgery. She, like, no, yo. once she realized that, once she realized that Jay Z was the person he looked up to, he's like that's the that's the person that that when his mom's gone, that's the last his last rock. Like okay, I still got that. That, yeah, because he was the one that when he get out of line, he'd be like, yo, you need to stop yeah, acting like that's this. that's the person he'll still listen to. Yeah. So when you take that away, that's like just taking the chain off the door. Yeah, George, yeah. It's wild. Get yeah. the cup. <laughs> I'm going to go to his concert. I'm going to go for, <laughs> uh, for, uh, uh, for a teacup and a teaspoon, and I just want to clank that joint. Clank, 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 clank. Like, did that work? Did it work on you? Are you still, are you still good? Are you yeah. good? Are the levels that's is up? Wild. The levels is up. <laughs> Like, like, just want to be like, get a level He's smart, up. intelligent. Oh, yeah, he's a super it's intelligent happens, person, man. but. It'd be like that. How but. about your Knicks last night, bro? Ooh, ooh. Man, I don't know. Yo, want. they gonna fire Malcolm? Malcolm. In Can case you, I don't know, yeah, Malcolm is David Fistel. <laughs> well, he got a little victory, so I don't know if they're gonna fire That him. was a big victory. They should never lost to the Knicks. I told BX Lou that I want to watch all the Knicks games. Just to see me, like, mortify some shit. Yeah. I, squirm I enjoy it. I squirm, I, like wa- I squirm watching our team. So I squirm. I like, like listen, I squirm watching my team, too. The New York I Giants. Thought, I thought they were going to really, really be defensively a monstrous team. The problem is they run And they suck. They run in the offense through Julius Randle, and they shouldn't. They need to let that kid. It's the same thing with... With the New York Giants, right? Yo, put the fucking young kid in. Fuck it. If we lose, we lose. At least we get him training. And that's what we're going through. We lose and we suck balls. But the quarterback is learning and he looks like he's definitely the future. They have to do the same thing in a, in, in, for the Knicks. They have to fucking let these young kids play. Bringing Randall in was stupid. Why would you bring him in? That's the old he, guy, right? He, yeah, he, guy. he doesn't qualify. He doesn't fit. To fit with these young kids. These young kids want to run all fucking day. He yeah. can't run. Yeah. These kids want to run. But he slows them down. And this is why they can never get a lead and, and win a game. He's doing what Carmelo did to them for a minute. I was about to ask. Is Melo signed? No, Melo's still out here with the bang gay. He still wow. got the... He's still rubbing his knees like, oh. damn, I wish someone would call for me. Real? Call me in. I Nobody mean, signed him for real? He's, he's, you, getting, he's getting blackballed. I told so. you he's a... He's <laughs> a five percent of... He's a five percent of my nigga. What the hell does five percent? Yeah, I want. I want to hear this one because we're getting off the rails again with another <laughs> another BX Lou theory brought to you. <laughs> Go ahead, let me hear this one. Uh, yeah, please. All right, we're waiting. He's the one. All right, you know. Five percent is. Uh, He's the sacrifice. No, no, no. no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Five percent is a fear. They almost like um. So then, why like don't Masons. he got a job? Then why don't he got a job? If niggas is scared. Why he don't got a job? Because he represents them. 
so why he doesn't have a job. Because he represents the five percenters. So what you're saying is, is that the league is afraid to give him yeah, a because contract he, he, he because might, he's a five percenter. Yeah, he might. How you know he's a five percenter? Might convert more people. They might start taking over. How you know? You How you know he's a five percenter? You see the chain he wear around his neck? That's stuff that we, we really can't talk about, but. Look at the chain that he wears. Listen, man, head. I don't know what BS do to him. All I know is I ain't a part of that you shit. You see, he's on that free. Oh, <laughs> he's smoking that split. <laughs> Yo, Stephen A. Smith, nigga. I Yo, uh, I think, I think you, I think, um, uh, what's his name? <laughs> I think they gave you a split star, son. All right. <laughs> they gave you a so little you midget. Because he's an alleged five percenter that they scared to give him a job. Yeah. Look at Kaepernick. He's also a five percenter. How you know? I have so much he respect. He got a chain, too? I have so much respect so for, for, for Kaepernick, man. You got, oh. I got respect for him. My problem is... Who it's thinks been, he's a it, sellout? It, it's been so long. They gave you a check, right? The NFL did give him a check. That's that's public record. Can you please say something? I'm tired of listening to your girlfriend, by the way. She don't need to be talking for you. She's not your mic, my G. And she's not the voice of New York. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about him. I don't talking. understand why she keeps talking. She needs I'll, to shut up. Because he needs to make an. Shut it up. He why? needs to make a statement. <laughs> why? What you mean, why? For who? For, for who? everybody that's still fighting for him. Like, yo, you know. Nah, because it's gonna make him. It's not gonna make him look anything. I like what he's doing. Like he's going out there. He's feeding the homeless. He's doing his mission. He's still helping people. Fuck the NFL. If he gets a chance, he gets a chance. But why go be out? That's like. Okay. That's like. That's I'm like. Not uh, saying for so him. we talked about like. We I'm talked not about Melo. I'm not saying for him to get a job. No, we talk about Melo. Like, I'm just saying I want a statement. It, you, they, these what niggas, you want him to say? I want to know. Okay, these niggas gave you a check. Now what? But what you want him to say? But that's, but that's the whole point. The there, is, there is nothing. There is no stack stack. <laughs> okay, so why, so why y'all were so busy criticizing Jay-Z for joining me? Jay-Z, Jay-Z's doing the same first thing that Kanye is doing. First he, you taking church and you trying to make money. He's milking it for himself. But a lot of people nothing. complaining. Oh, why are he doing this with the NFL knowing that they don't give Cap a job? Okay, let Cap tell us. His reason for accepting a check for that. Well, uh, that's I. I didn't care about that. That what they were saying. I was pissed off at Jay Z because the way that I see it is someone going to cut a deal with, with with like Trump, knowing fully well the way that Trump is, and saying I'm going to help change the well, if situation. That, if, that's the case, if, if that's the case, then all black players in NFL need to stop working. There's another league. Oh, but yeah, they need the, the money. There's but another league coming out, and there's going to have well, a lot of money. League too. that's going to take over the NFL. Let's be let's be honest. That's like saying there's going to be another NBA. What He's the there. fuck that means? That don't mean nothing. They're not getting paid anyway. Who's not getting paid? The, the players in the NFL aren't getting paid properly. The, those guys... Can, so oh, who... What, them what niggas do, get paid about what 50, What company is going to come out and be better than the NFL and, and really pay these people? XFL. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah, son. If you want your company to work, right? First no, of all... No, no, listen to what I'm going to tell you. I can just see it now. What? I can just see it now. If guys, you know what XF? Uh, what is it? XFL? It's extreme football. League. It don't matter. Are you I, talking about Vince McMahon? Yeah, I am talking about. That. Do you hear this fuckery? Okay. <laughs> all he got to tell the players is, "Yo, I'll give you two year guarantee contracts. They, they, they out. First of all, they leave in a NFL. fucking mockery. It won't it's be a gonna mock- be, it won't instead be a of having fucking cheerleaders, you got the fucking divas out it's there. Not, it's fucking, not that. That's you know, not happening. Power driving bitches. That's old. You bringing old shit up. Nah. It's that's always, not happening right now. Oh, that's the old shit. Okay. Yo, remember I said it. NXT I, coming out at halftime. No, fucking not, heads up. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. That's not that's happening. That's a joke. That's not happening. It's a joke. I'm just saying, if, if black players really feel a certain way, go join another league. There is no other league. It is another league. The XFL will never it, be, be bigger be than the NFL. Well, my thing is, period. we don't, as you see, if all our black leaders, where they going? Jail? <laughs> or they going out? They going out. They going in a casket. Yeah. So, my thing is, I don't want people to just go back and do the joining Kumbaya, my lord shit. Well, they being I want people the ocean, to stand like, up. You know, like the ISIS people. I want people to stand up and do new shit. Like you said, you were XFL. Fuck Vince McMahon. Get a coalition of yeah. How many rich black owners do oh, we yeah, have? Yeah, we got some. Where's Diddy? Diddy, where you we at? We got Diddy. We got freaking fifty. Fifty. Jane. We got we got Magic Johnson. Jane. We got all these people. Jordan. And all. They and you can telling you me? Can you believe that Magic Johnson ninety one oh one? How many years? Yo, he got HIV. 
He's living his best life. And y'all niggas said, I'm smoking. You see this shit? No, the other day second was the contact, anniversary. Second contact. Second contact. The second. other day was the anniversary of him making the announcement that he was HIV positive. Here we are, 2019. That nigga still don't got AIDS. he's still kicking. Do you he see how crazy it was that when he said that, in our generation, that was a big thing, right? A man has AIDS and he's playing basketball. And he's and not the, gay. And he's not gay. And yeah. then now, it's like transgender there's 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 a whole kind of bunch of other shit there's like people that feel like they should have been born um paralyzed so they chop their hands off or whatever because they feel like they are trans uh able there's trans able trans able Woo, i never heard that one. Oh yeah there's like they were just going trans able the whole no, list of trans different things there's um people that thought they should be born can animals, I say something? All kinds of shit. Can I like, say something? This, this is ridiculous. Yeah, you thought you was going to be born an animal? <laughs> People, stop using heroin. <laughs> stop Stop doing cocaine. Leave the Oxycontin alone. What was that? Leave the what was that? Alone. Remember that black chick? No, she's not black. She's white. And she, she had the funny hair. Oh, and she, she said thought, she, she was black. Yeah. She thought she was black, so that was with oh, transracial. Yeah. Transracial. She getting welfare. Yeah, she was. She, she was. She was doing welfare schemes. Listen. Yeah, so she was. She was really acting. Never so mind. she was trans. She was you transracial. <laughs> she was thinking that she was supposed to be. She was playing. She was the supposed role. to be. She was born white, but she was supposed to. As a matter of fact, I'm like, yo, how crazy? Yo, 50, how you ain't put that bitch on power? Black woman inside, 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 she said. Inside, she was getting I was the, the weave. Yeah. Everything. Can I, I, like, I accept that she got away with that shit? Yes. No. She, she was, got in trouble. No. Yeah, but she was she was the leader of the NAACP. Or yeah. Not a leader, but she and had a she, she had a high welfare schemes. Yeah. And then they hit Shadows get down. Shadows she said, "I'm down. transracial. I'm gonna be transracial too. I'm a this. black woman inside." <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. So I'm just like, yo, there's all these shits now. People are just basically like making shit up, and then and the society's like, you have to accept them for who they are. And I'm like, what the Listen, fuck? Listen, I'm, are you just, talking I'm about? just tired of the gay agenda. Oh my god. That's a whole nother story. Oh, uh, listen. I'm tired I have a of question. the gay agenda push everywhere no. on TV, the movies, the fucking cartoons. I got lighter for this one. Listen, listen. Sorry, I'm tired John. of it. Listen, Doesn't it make these it- kids need to grow up and, and let them figure it out for themselves. Yeah. They shouldn't be watching TV being influenced. They shouldn't be doing this being... Listen. Even Disney's pushing that shit. Listen, I'm like, it's wow. Too much. It's too much. I it's didn't think much. Disney was going to push it. too listen, much. Listen. That's H- a problem for me. HDTV, right? I got a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am. Okay. I got Yo, a lot of- where's the song? Because I got I to gotta put that on. <laughs> Yo, we've been going for like an hour. So. <laughs> But this wait, is the comeback. For real, for real. We got a lot to talk about. HGTV, son. I've been home all day. Every House Hunter <laughs> episode was because niggas was gay. <laughs> what does that have to do with them looking for a house? I was looking for a house because I got high. Yo, I was podcasting the BX Lou, and then, and then you got high. <laughs> we don't own this shit. <laughs> Damn, I was gonna buy a house, but then I got high. <laughs> I'm telling you, yo. I'm telling you, yo. <laughs> 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 Y'all miss me there, y'all. Y'all miss me out there. Y'all niggas is laughing hard, too. So everybody on HGTV. <laughs> yeah, go back to the- All the episodes. And I'm like, do these motherfuckers think gay people don't work? Because they show what the fuck all the time. Obviously, they work because they got paper. Like, they looking for house. Well, you know, you know what it is, is that they find a new market. They find a new market of people that, that never used to get... You know, get their shows, so now it's like, hey, they, they, they got to cater to everybody. But in the middle of the day, hold on, but they got their own network. They have a gay network? Isn't it called the Logo? What is it called? Logo, a, yeah. It's called Logo. There's a gay network? Mm-hmm. Well, we had, a black, we had a black network for a little bit. Listen, man, you know, it's all the same shit, yeah. you know? Like somebody I know, Whitey taking over. You know, we gotta we gotta have our own shit. But, th- but that's what I'm saying. Like, and there's no disrespect to I you know, the white people, but it's just it is. I remember what it is. when I used to stay home from school when I was a child. Right, they, the, all the commercials was lawyers. Like you disabled lawyer. You ate Popeye's chicken, me so <laughs> Lawyer. You know what I'm saying? Everything was lawyer, 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 and shit. Niggas that I heard, niggas is this and that. Right. Just like at nighttime, what they sell. 
infomercials. You have to sleep. You think that's just a great idea. You buying it. I know somebody like that. I know somebody like that, too. You know what I'm saying? He lived with me. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I love the commercials at night because they be like, they get you everything. First, everything. they start showing you, you food. They start, you, showing you, they start showing you. They start showing you. They hit you off with the food. They hit you with the food, right? Crying. They be like, oh, you want this? You want this? Eat but this wait, food. But wait. There's more. There's more. And then they start hitting you with, the reason why you're not sleeping is because <laughs> you're not sleeping. 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 You're not how not to get a rash? Be, go, the friendly ghost gets a rash. <laughs> a rash vaccination. Oh so, goodness. yeah. So, to prove my point, the next day, right, I said, you know what? I'm not going to watch this channel at the same time. You know, this is me being on board. I'm bored. So, I'm trying to f- figure shit out and see if it's true. What my theory is. So, I changed it to Animal Planet. Oh, oh I was watching God. animals. Fuck it. Do they get the same Nigga, symptoms when, the they take fuckers, this, when they take the, like, <laughs> they not stop fucking? Nigga, all the vets... All the veterinary assistants, they were all gay. No, they not. When we was watching, no, oh. they not. Wait, wait, wait. You tell them doctors don't be gay, man. They be, they be plugging. Nigga, they gay, son. <laughs> I, niggas in the ASPA, y'all know. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of dykes. AMC. Ain't nothing wrong with dykes. Y'all Yo, what's the acronyms you using? I don't know these fucking acronyms. These are places where I, I work. Oh, okay. And I know. Lewis, he's in the streets. Always in the streets, baby. <laughs> My ear is always in the streets, no matter what. Just don't act even, when I, I, even when I'm feeling I, sick, I, I hate when I'm at work and people be talking and they be like, you know, the ACFF. Like, wait, wait, what the wait. fuck? Wait. The, only, wait. the only one we recognize, the N-A, what, double A, what, N-C-double-A? No, no, no. <laughs> like, how many no, letters y'all gonna no. use, The man? best one now is slap, though. Oh, yeah, slap. I love that. Uh, slap. <laughs> Yo, yo, my wife heard that and she was like, from now on, that's what I'm using. Uh, what's that? Slap. Slap what? Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Jesus. Shout out to Dion Cole, man. Yo, that Dion was Cole funny. used that. He was like, y'all better not use that. He was like, that's my cousin kids. shit. He was like, that's my cousin shit. Y'all better not use that. He's like, this, mm. da, 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 da. slap. He was like, what's that? What's slap? Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> that was a good stand up. <laughs> I ain't even finished watching it because damn. Netflix be tripping, yo. That, Netflix be it's tripping. Funny. It's funny. At the end, it got better. I, I think. I, yeah. It like I like up. when he. I like when he when he took the paper out and he was like, yo. That's my favorite. That's I, my, I, that's I gotta try. That's he's his best. I, I was like, I gotta try these jokes. That's my favorite when he does when that. He does that. He's when he first game. started, he didn't have the the paper. I'm like, oh, I guess he's doing a different approach. And then when yeah. he got him, got the paper, I was like, oh, okay. When he took out that paper, they were crazy. Oh my god, he's so, so funny. He, he's hilarious. Like when they kidnap, I haven't kidnap watched Dolomite bitches. yet. He ain't see that part yet. He ain't see the fat bitch yeah. part yet. Nah, I ain't. I seen that one. I seen that part. You seen the part with the fat bitches? Yeah. He made sense though. He's like, yo, it made perfect. He, he was just like this too. He put his eyes down, came back up, went down, came back up. He was like, does anybody ever kidnap fat bitches? Yo, that was it for me. I was like, oh shit, this nigga. My I got a catheter in my neck,
It's medical, my nigga, so don't, don't get it. Yo, I got 11 people watching you right now talk about ghosts as ghosts. <laughs> Eleven people watching this see. nigga. Little bar goes is a ghost. <laughs> yeah, we watching the video right now. It's the pause, but we watching the video because they laughing because he's. <laughs> We're watching our old selves back on the freaking video. Oh man, y'all gotta listen. Y'all gotta listen to our podcast anytime you you, you just need something to on the gym. Why well, you? Big Slew is you don't understand. This this man needs his own show. He needs to be on NBC. He said this nigga tripping. <laughs> It needs to be on NBC. Jack told me to fucking ginger ale. And I'm looking at you like you smoking some shit. And you smoking some shit. This this man is funnier than Dolomite. Listen, oh, man. It, shit. Be like that, though, man. Shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I still think ghost is a ghost. It don't matter. Yeah, you, well, I hope them, you guys missed us because we're going to be back. You know, the like crazy... Clockwork, the, I'm going to have my own shit, too. The crazy thing is, if you really are right... <laughs> that, that. Uh, hey, okay, can, can we say something? Uh, yeah. And this should go, this should go public. Just, uh, if I'm uh, right, 50 Cent needs to cast me in his next show. Yeah. Somehow. Don't fucking cat. 50 Cent don't give a fuck about you, bro. <laughs> he don't give a fuck. <laughs> You made you just made a meme. We gonna have to trademark. Fifty cents don't give a fuck about you. Nah, that's trademark, niggas. Don't try that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna put you on Courtney Kemp's freaking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put it so Yo, she can see that. All I'm shit. gonna say is, cause I want her. I better not end up on social media tomorrow. <laughs> you be a meme, me and you. No, you ain't getting no power. I don't need niggas in my business. You get paid, nigga. That's how you get paid. I need Cordy to see this. I own all this shit, by the way. All this content, we own it. Her news media, LTD, bitch ass niggas. Don't even try it. Oh, shit. <laughs> they miss me, son. They they miss me. He's back. Who I'm, misses you? You, nigga. I'm back. <laughs> oh. I'm fucking back, nigga. Harder than ever. Yo, ghost is not a ghost, and I don't care ghost, what you man. say. I just don't know. That's why they call them ghosts. <laughs> no. Okay. If that happens, can I get, can we come back on here? Y'all give my props. Yeah, I'll be like, yeah, he was right. You see, that, see that's what I'm all you gonna Some get. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, know, if you all I gotta say is people. I'm back, damn it. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, BX Lou, it was nice to have you back, man. Uh, and I'm here, man. I'm trying to make it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my man's fighting the, one of the hardest, you know, things in the world. That's yeah, I want to dedicate this show to everybody who, who either has or yeah. fought. BX Lou, if y'all don't know, the fans out there, I'm going to let y'all know some little. Uh, can I tell them? Yeah, sure. You can tell them. They're I'm, the fans, B. They yeah. family, too. So he's my man's fighting cancer, y'all. And uh, he's out here putting the work that he needs yep. to put in. To fight cancer. So if y'all want to reach out to him and just tell him some thoughts and Word give up. him some praise, praise, you know, praise is good, man. I appreciate and if that. Anyone out there, also the fans, if you guys are going through something and you guys want some praise, Yo, I'm here for you. I make you laugh like a motherfucker. Just you know, hit me up, nigga. We yeah, we here for y'all. We here for, for y'all. Real, for real. We a community, hood, News? every every every, every race. We talk shit about white Everybody. people, Spanish people, what whatever. Every race has a hood, so you know we yeah. here we here for the hood. Shit ain't no hood. joke, man. You need with a hood, with a hood, with a hood. Yo. at. Hey, hey, my peoples, go to the doctors, man. You never know. Yeah, you yeah, for real. Know, for real, you know, for real. You know, people be like, oh, I want to go because I don't want to know. Yeah. You're stupid. You're cheating yourself out of life, man. Life is a beautiful thing. Life is what you make it. So, life is a beautiful thing for me right now. I'm around a lot of people that love me and care for me and are here for me and the support from everybody back home, online, on Facebook and all that. I feel that and, I, you know, it makes me want to fight even more, you know, and I'm already fighting with everything I got. But to see my friends from back home and reassuring me that they love a nigga, son, that's everything. Love is bigger than anything in the world, man. And I appreciate that, and I thank everybody for that. But we good, nigga. We here. And you still on that shit, huh? I'm popular. I'm going to be trending tomorrow. <laughs> you trending oh like me. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. nigga. Yeah, you, yeah. Yo, I'm mad I'm on the video. I don't, I don't want it to trend. BXLoo19 at gmail.com. Hit me up. Oh, <laughs> uh, 
That's oh crazy. man, so I think we're wrapping this up because we, right, we got to go we've chill with here. the cousin. We've been in here for yeah. a minute. She's in there. She ain't. She yeah. don't want to come outside? No, I don't know what she's doing. So wrap it up. Oh, no. Let the fans know where to reach us out on, on Twitter, your Instagram. You got to let them know. Instagram. Yes, her nose media on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. And the Gmail. Her news media. Gmail, on Podbean. Gmail. Yep. Come check us out. Word, man. We back. Yeah. Y'all going to hear a lot of shit from me soon, too. Yeah. So. So, because I got a lot of time in my hand. So I might as well talk shit every day. Talking shit with BX Lou Word. We'll be back. <laughs> Peace, y'all. We love y'all. Thanks. Deuces. We back, bitches.